What is Enhanced Oil Recovery, EOR? EOR stands for Enhanced Oil Recovery, which is a tertiary oil recovery technique applicable at any stage of reservoir production. This method is utilized to restore lost formation pressure and improve fluid flow within the reservoir. As oil is extracted, reservoir pressure declines, leading to a reduced production rate. The EOR technique aims to increase the reservoir's pressure, thereby enhancing the overall production rate. The oil recovery process occurs in phases. The first phase, primary recovery, relies on the natural drive mechanism of the reservoir. During this phase, production occurs without external energy, utilizing the pressure difference between the well bottom and the reservoir. The subsequent phase, secondary recovery, involves restoring reservoir pressure by injecting external energy, such as gas or water, through an injection well. This is commonly known as water flooding, where water is used to lift the reservoir's pressure. Recovery efficiency in this phase typically ranges from 10 to 40 percent. Once the primary and secondary phases are complete, tertiary recovery techniques are employed to extract the remaining oil trapped in the reservoir's pore spaces. EOR methods can extract more than half of the total original oil in place OIP. Although EOR is a more expensive approach, it can boost production by up to 70%. This sophisticated technique alters the properties of hydrocarbons, distinguishing it from primary and secondary recovery practices. In tertiary recovery, injected gases and water change the oil properties in fields with low permeability, heavy oil, and complex geological faults. EOR encompasses three primary recovery techniques, chemical flooding, gas injection, and thermal recovery. Chemical flooding is recommended for depleted formations and involves injecting various chemicals, such as surfactants and polymers, into the reservoir. Surfactants reduce the interfacial tension between oil and brine, enhancing microscopic sweep efficiency, while polymers increase the viscosity of the aqueous phase to improve macroscopic displacement. Gas injection utilizes natural gas, nitrogen, or carbon dioxide to displace oil toward the production well. The effectiveness of this method relies on displacement and sweep efficiency, with carbon dioxide being the most commonly used gas for recovery operations. This technique accounts for over 50% of total EOR operations and is recognized as the most effective method for producing incremental oil. Thermal recovery, on the other hand, focuses on raising the reservoir temperature to decrease oil viscosity, enhancing mobility. This technique is particularly effective for extracting heavy oil from viscous formations. Steam flooding is commonly applied to reduce oil viscosity and improve production rates, making it the preferred method for significantly increasing production. While EOR techniques can improve oil extraction, they also pose environmental concerns. A substantial amount of produced water, containing brine and potentially toxic heavy metals or radioactive substances, is injected back into the reservoir. If not managed properly, this could lead to groundwater contamination. Disposal wells are typically employed to prevent surface water and soil contamination by injecting produced water deep underground, an emerging method known as plasma pulsing has the potential to mitigate some environmental risks. Developed in Russia, plasma pulsing technology involves emitting low-energy discharges into oil fields, effectively reducing oil viscosity in a manner similar to other EOR techniques.